Hey y'all, welcome back to Let's Make Art. I'm Jessie Pearson and I teach art journaling here with Let's Make Art. And today we have a bonus project and it's for our Let's Make Art Matter recipient, Esme. Esme is a cute little girl who struggles with anxiety and her parents thought it would be fun for her to receive some postcards in the mail from you with a little, a little encouragement, some fun, happy vibes. Um, and I'm going to show you how to do this cute little um, postcard. You can paint this along with us or you can paint whatever you want. It's totally up to you, but I'm gonna show you how to do this today. And we are just using the supplies that comes in the subscription box. And um, this pre-stamped postcard also comes in the subscription box. So let's get started. Okay, we have first step, we're gonna get our postcard and we're gonna put it down and we're gonna start with some pink paint. And I'm just wetting my brush, getting some paint on here. So my got a little water in there, not a lot, just enough where we can spread the paint around easily so it's not too thick. Just a fun, just solid background of pink is what we're gonna go with. And you can do another color if you like, it's up to you. Now if you water it down, it can be lighter. I just wanna, have it be thick enough where it'll cover easily and not be too sticky as I'm trying to move it around. So I need probably a little bit more water on my brush to do that. And I kind of like the variation in the light and the dark areas, thick and the thin. So I'm gonna go with that. And we will let that dry for a second. Okay, so that's looking good. We got it all dry now for the most part. We can start working on the next part which is gonna be the sun part. Now I mentioned that this um, comes in your subscription box, but if you don't know what I'm talking about, <laughs> we do have a subscription box. Um, but you don't need to have the subscription box to um, do this with us. You can put some happy mail out there in the world, even if you don't have this, but all you need is a postcard. And if you would like to get the address, you can email at us at hello at let's make art. Dot com, All right? Dot com. Thank you. I always forget the dot com part. All right. So I'm just going to start. I'm just going to go for it. I mean, you could sketch this out if you want, but I'm just going to do. Will you watch your head? Please? Oh, yeah. Still learning about this filming business. Thank you. Thank you. I want them to be able to see what I'm doing here. Okay. So I'm just doing this sun shape, the rays, kind of like, I don't know, like a windmill or something. That makes sense. We're just gonna do these shapes coming out in orange. And I just think this is a fun way to do a sunshine, but you can do, if you like the idea of doing a sunshine for her, you can do it like this or you can do it however you want. So I'm just gonna come back in here and I'm doing the little parts out here a little wider and then kind of letting it be a little thinner as it comes in. Yeah, just whatever. I thought that a sunshine would be cool because I remember Keenan saying he liked these colors because it reminded him of sunset. Michael said that too when he was filming with me, so. Those are some of my favorite color combos. Orange and pink? Mm -hmm. If I'm, if I'm, you know, I'm pretty sure I'm not biased. Maybe I am, I don't know. Missouri has the best sunsets. For real. They are so gorgeous. And that color combo is the sunset in Missouri every winter. Yes. And it's, it's pretty cool how, I think I mentioned this some other time, but when the snow is on the ground and everything's white and then the sun sets and everything gets kind of pastel, oh, it's so pretty. Yeah. I remember hearing a song when I was a kid and it said something about big sky country and I don't think I really knew what that meant until I moved out here. Okay. Texas, Texas is the biggest sky. Big sky country. Oh man. Okay, so you don't have to make this like super like perfect by any means. Like don't, you don't have to keep it in like a perfect circle. Like I kind of think it's fun to be a little wonky. Um, but if you wanted, you could probably trace the circle and then try to keep the little windmill parts of this sun um, within the circle. I don't know. You know, just, have fun. 
that's what I think. We'll just have fun. And if you need to turn it, like, so you can do it easier, you can do that as well. And I'm just using a little paint with a number eight brush. And these number eight brushes are pretty versatile because you can get small with them and then you can get like a thicker stroke with them too. So I kind of like that. I'm going to have this one come out a little bit more. Let's see, like this maybe? Yeah, so this is just a simple little, so a little rays of sunshine here. And then maybe I'll start with this one that's going to go this way so I'm going to get an idea of how to average that space there. I don't know. Don't think about it too hard. Just, just do it, you know? Nike. <laughs> or it could be like that guy on The Office who accredits, credits, uh, quotes himself. Michael mentioned that in one of our last tutorial we filmed together. <laughs> Michael Scott? It's yeah. Michael Scott quotes Rain Gwen Jeez, I can't even say the name. Wayne Gretzky. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's totally what yep. we were talking about last time. That's funny because I said the same thing in one of Sarah's tutorials recently. Really? Uh huh. You guys are so alike. So fun. Yeah. So I kind of think it's fun to have like one of these rays of sunshine kind of coming out further than the other, then bringing it back. And I don't know, I think the fun part about doing it like that on purpose is then you don't have to worry about it being perfect. You can just have fun with it and it turns out however it turns out, yeah. <laughs> that's okay. <laughs> and I don't know, I like the idea of it varying in width and length. So that kind of makes it fun. So that one can be a little skinnier, right? Mm -hmm. And then the next one by it can be mm, like a little thicker. Whatever. Nice. Just happy little sunshine, what we're doing here. I think I need another one in between there. I keep forgetting not to put my head on the camera. Sorry about that, guys. I just get so excited. I just want to get close to what I'm doing here. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah, and if, you, if, if it starts to feel awkward, like you're trying to draw like at a weird angle, then just turn your paper. Sometimes I forget to do that, and it's so much easier when I just turn the paper. So feel free to do that. Okay, that paint's skipping just like a little bit, so I'm just gonna get a little more water in there so I can get a nice even line. We're just painting this cute little sunshine together. How fun is that? I think there's some construction going on, so if you thought someone was knocking on my door, nobody's knocking on the door. We're just doing, making, they're making new things over there. We thought we'd be past the construction zone, but by now? But they just moved on to a new place to do construction, so. Yes. That is also audible in this space. Also right next to slash attached to this building. What, it's literally that wall right there. Yeah, it's, it's perfect. Okay. Trying to decide, we probably need one more right there, right? Or is it good? What do you think? Well, we'll see how that looks. Now, if we decide we want to add another one, we can add another one. Okay, so we'll let that dry for a second. Okay, this is looking dry, so we're ready for our next step. And we're going to grab a pencil and we're going to just 
sketch out some letters that we're gonna paint over. I decided that I would do, you are amazing, but you can do whatever you want. And I learned this cool technique from Nicole, who does our lettering um, tutorials. And she taught me to do like a little skeleton first and then like sketch around it. So I'm gonna try doing that. Oh my goodness. You got big hair today. <laughs> I fell asleep with it curl like wet and it's like all curly. So it's big hair. It's just it's how it goes. So we can do a Y like this. Can you see that? Yeah. And then she taught me to just draw around that kind of frame a little bit to get the shape. Does that make sense? Yes it does. So it's funny you say Nicole taught you this because I named it. You did? Yes. What did you she name it? She couldn't figure out the skeleton. Ooh. I, call, I said it reminded me of a skeleton. She's like, oh, I love that. And she's been calling it that since. It's not a big deal. Just well, coined. Like you're, you're like famous now. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to do an O. And then I think it's fun for it to be a little wonky, so I'm not going to make it perfect middle. I think it's kind of fun if it's just like whatever. Yeah. So that one's easy. I didn't need to do the skeleton part for that one. And the U probably is like easier to use. So. Yeah, so you, then I'm just going to do a little cursive R. And then maybe I'll just do it where it's like a little thicker. She taught me that too, just add on to that little bit. And if you're interested in learning this more, go check her videos out. They're really good. I'm still practicing hand lettering, so mine just comes out however it does. That's fine. <laughs> okay, and then I'm gonna do amazing down here. And sometimes it's hard to fit like a word like right in this space like this. So you can get creative. You can kind of move the letters around to fit the space however. So don't don't stress about that. And if you need to do this skeleton technique on the A, whatever works for you. I can kind of visualize what that one looks like, so I might, I might do it more on the M, though. Sometimes I get a little tripped up on the M. And then you can kind of erase the middle if you want. Just want to make sure that if you're doing this, that that bottom layer of paint is nice and dry. Otherwise, it might just smear things around. And it's okay if some of it's still there because we're going to paint over that part anyway. Yeah, so if you do that middle part, then you can erase that out if you want. All right, let's do this little... This A, a little smaller, the next A will do like this. Because then it'll take up a little less room when we can get crazy with our Z. Because I like the idea of the Z being kind of big, right? You can see what I'm doing there. I keep getting my head in the way. Uh -huh. <laughs> Thanks for reminding me, Keenan. I'm just going to start yelling, Heed! It's not really my head that's in the way, it's my hair that's in the yeah, way. It's just your hair. Natural curly hair problems. Although not, I had to curl a little bit of it because it was a little crazy, so it's a little bit of both, but whatever. All right. All right. We're not here to talk about my hair. All right. So I'm just thickening up that line. I think I just want it to be, go back that way a little bit maybe. You can change the direction if you want. My goodness. Yeah. Like this. There we go. Okay, and then you're like, well, how are you gonna get that ING in there? Well, we're gonna get it in there, don't worry. All right, my goodness, there we go. Can you see what I'm doing there? We're good. Oh yeah. Then we're gonna get the I, the N, and the G, and I'll just have my G wrap around like this. Okay. 
You didn't think I was going to get that in there, did you? We got it. I always believe. There's very few times that I don't believe. That is, that is a true statement about you. That's why you're an awesome art cheerleader. Oh, thank you. I didn't think I was going to get it in there for a second. <laughs> I'm going to thicken that G up a little bit. See, and if you don't draw perfect the first time, you can just... Beauty of pencils. Yeah, it's all good. I should say beauty of erasers. Yep. All right. But don't get, don't get too crazy. Just, just go for it. All right? We're all good. So now we're going to use our Posca pen. We're just going to fill that in. I made kind of a fat, oh, so we got a lot to fill in here. I hope you're having fun doing this and you're thinking about brightening someone's day and you're not being too particular and you're just thinking about how cool it's gonna be for someone as me to get that in the mail, you know? Now I'm going to do the cursive part. I'm just going to do that a little thicker right there. Then we'll fill in the other A. Well, this is our first A in this word. And these Posca pens would just make it so easy. Some people don't like the lines of the pencil showing when their finished product is there. Really? Project. Yeah. I love the sketch look of a pencil mark after a project is finished. Yeah. So if you like that look, you can leave it. If you don't, you can erase it, but you want to make sure that it's super dry before you try to erase it. Um, you can also like outline it with a pen if you wanted to. It's all up to you, whatever you feel like doing. It's your postcard. All right. Amazing. Yes. You are amazing. All right. Okay, so now let's do the, I'm gonna turn this around so I don't put my head, hand on the wet part that, that I'm too impatient to let dry. I'm just gonna draw a circle in here for our sun face. So you get a little bit thicker if you want. Just go back around the edge. And this this Posca pen paint dries pretty quickly too, which is nice. I'm just gonna go in there and fill in the little details really fast. And if you find it hard to wait for things to dry, because I do. You can always start another postcard or something else and then come back to this one. <laughs> Make a snack break, come back. Yeah, yeah. Okay, we'll let that dry and then we'll do our finishing touches. Okay, so this is looking dry. Now we can do our finishing touches. So I thought it might be fun for this sun to have some pink little cheeks. So I'm gonna get a little pink paint here on my brush. I'm gonna do the tiniest little circles for those cheeks. Are you kidding me? Pink little cheeks. I like it. But it doesn't have to be perfect. I made that one a little bit bigger than the other one. It's no big deal. Okay, while well that pink is waiting to dry, we're, you can embellish your letters however you want. I thought it might be fun to just do some dots here just right in the middle, kind of where we originally did the skeleton line, you know, as Keenan has oh, yeah. told us. You want to push that to the left a little bit? Oh, I would love to push that to the left. There we go. Is that better? Thank you. Ooh, little dots, just right down the center. You could do stripes. You can do whatever you want. Just have fun. 
And I think I want to do it on Amazing, too. What do you think? Is that good? We'll do it. Ooh, doing it. I'm going for it. Mars. Would it be amazing? Hey. Somebody made a joke in the office yesterday, and it made me laugh. Or no, it was at the warehouse. They were talking about gouache, yeah. and then someone was surprised about what they said. It was Trish, and she said, oh, my gouache. Oh, my gouache. Stop. <laughs> it was so good. That is funny. Unrelated to what we're doing, this is not gouache at all, but it just amazing. popped in my head. Gouache? It was an amazing art pun. That's what it was. I just thought, well, we'll do these dots on this letter while I'm waiting for the pink cheeks to dry. Yeah. Those dots have to hurt your wrist. What do you mean? I would just, I just imagine holding a pen like that, just making dots, and my hand would get so tired. Well, the pen does the work for you, and it have, actually kind of has a little bounce to it, too. Oh, that's nice. And if you want these dots to be a little bigger, you can, you know, draw them a little bigger. It's, it's whatever you want. Okay, so now let's do a little face. I'm going to, if you see here, I have my eyebrow and my nose, like, kind of the same line. You can do that, or you can do it, you can not connect it if you don't want to, but I just... Thought that might be fun. I'm a little worried that if I put my hand down right there, it's gonna mess up that white paint. You but put the oh, they're still doing stuff over there. I'll you do this. Put the unpainted one farther to the left and wash your head. Yes, thank you. Okay, so I'm just gonna drop this over top of that so I can put my hand there. That's a good trick if you ever need to do that. Oh my goodness. Okay. It's louder to us than it is to them. Oh, good. I'm so glad. But you can still hear it. Just needed my. You can do, I'm gonna do round dots for the eyes on this one because I like that. And then one more eyebrow. And we have done it. You are amazing. We did it. We made it. And I'm so glad that you took the time to paint with me. And I hope that you'll get this in the mail so you can send this little ray of sunshine to Esme. If you want to learn more about our Let's Make Art Matter program, you can go on our website, scroll all the way down, and um, you can find it down there, right, Keenan, on the bottom of the yeah. page. And if you don't get the subscription box and you still want to do this with us, no problem. Just email us at hello at Let's Make Art and they'll send you the address. Thanks so much. That's all I have for today. See you later.